Okay, today we're going to be having a first look at the new 3D printing pen that we've just introduced to our range um, with a metal casing. It's a more of a high, slightly higher end uh, 3D pen than the existing one we've got. So let's open the box and have a quick look at it inside. So it comes in some really nice high quality packaging. Uh, reminds me a little bit of an iPhone package. Um, and we have got an instruction manual, which is quite handy. Um, tells you all the processes of how to operate it. Put that to one side. And then here we have the actual pen. Now as you can see, it's got three buttons on there um, and a display. This is a display which we'll see in a minute when we switch it on. And then on the end here you insert the power and then you've also got the filament that goes in there too. And then this is the lid. So quite nice that when you're not using it you can put the lid on and, uh, and keep it safe. Also when it's a little bit warm you could cover it up and stop it burning anything. Uh, right, so let's open the actual box itself. Now inside we've got a USB cable. Um, now this you can plug straight into your computer and then into the pen or you can plug it into a power pack as well if you're on the move. And then we have actually got a plug with a USB slot in there as well so you can run it straight off the mains power. And then we've got a small amount of filament, ABS filament in, in here. Um, it's 1.75 millimeter filament, so you can use any, any of that. And if you happen to have a printer that uses that filament, then you're, you're in luck. So let's um, plug it in, switch it on, and, um, and have a play around with it. So I'll just um, undo this USB cable. And then it goes in the back of the pen here. And now we have a little display, the display's lit up, and it says um, that we're on ABS filament, set to ABS filament. If we want to switch to PLA, we can just press the two buttons together here, and it will switch from PLA to ABS. And you can see the temperature also changes from 210 for ABS to 175 for PLA. But we've got ABS here, so I'm just gonna leave it on ABS. Um, and uh, to heat up, the nozzle, you just press the uh, load button, which is the one at the front of the pen here. And now it gives a display of the current temperature, which is 31, and then the target temperature, which is 210 degrees. And now we just wait for it to heat up, and then we'll be ready to insert the filament. While that's doing that, I'll just unpackage the filament here. It's important to have a neat cut at the end, which looks fine on that one there. And then we'll see how, see if this is up to temperature, and it is. It's up to 210 degrees, so I'll just insert it through the hole on the back here. And then until it stops, and then I'll press the load button, it'll start loading in the filament. Here we are, it's coming at the end. And then if I press it once, it will stop. Now you have different speed settings, you have six different speed settings on here. So once, you're, um, once it's printing, so when I, if you double click to automatically print, now I don't have to hold it down or anything, and then I can press the up and down to change through the settings. So this is the fastest setting here at six, and then you can go back down, three, two, one. Notice, seems, it seems like four is about the right temperature, from, uh, about the right speed for printing most of the time. And then if you click it once more, it will stop. You can also just hold it down, and then let go. It will stop printing. So these, here's some of the things that we've made with the, with the 3D pen. Um, it's just a fun little gadget, really. It's quite addictive. 
You can make pretty much whatever you want with a bit of time and patience. Um, another, another quite fun thing to do is to actually just trace over the top of drawings um, and then lift them off the paper and then draw all the different angles and then stick them all together. Um, you can make some pretty impressive um, prints that way. Um, so if you want to find out anything more about the pen or you want to order one for yourself, then click in the top corner here. Uh, and if you do have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.